Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHUT.com and I'm going to do a gameplay video here for Team Fortress 2, a 3D MMOFPS game published by Valve. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Team Fortress 2 or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOHUT.com on the link below. And you notice how fast I said that because there was a dude right in front of me. Let's go kill this a-hole over here. And I didn't get that kill. What is up with that? That was so my kill. And this is actually uh, uh, not really a first look video because I've already done one for this game. However, it is a community event video which basically... Uh, uh, we post on the MMOD forums a server IP address for uh, the server I'm in right now. And everybody here is people who have been on the MMOD forums or the MMOD YouTube channel. So these are all cool cats over here. All MMOD cool people. So right now, oh, crit over there. Get that kill over there too. We already played a few rounds already. This is like the third or fourth if I remember correctly. Or if I can't remember correctly, go me. But uh, the first round I played it, I did really well actually. I was like 50. I, I had over 100 points actually. And uh, I did the best on the team. And that was a warm-up round. Now I'm starting to record live. So we'll see how I do right now. And we just switched servers right now to this server because I couldn't join the last server because after I disconnected to rejoin, it got filled up. So now we're in this server right now. And my healer over here, Zod, is a cool cat. And I'm just kind of just up oh, there, uber charged over there. Can't really kill them. But let's keep shooting them anyway because their uber charge is about to go away. And this is a, a simple. Oh, kill these guys over here. Keep killing those guys. Nope, I'm almost dead. My healer, Zod, over here, though, has got my back. He keeps, keeps me alive over there. The first round I played in this guy named V, not sure uh, where he's on MMO, what his name on YouTube is, whatever. He was a cool kid, he followed me around all game healing me, I love that. Oh, just got my uber charge, gotta get ballsy now, gotta kill, oh, no kills yet. Uh, I gotta reload, let's go kill him with this actually. Uber charge with this, what a waste of an uber charge though. What an uber charge waste, what an uber waste, not an uber charge, there you go, I got one kill finally. With uber charge you have to get, you have to get way more kills than that to make it worth it. Oh, I just died over there too. My score right now is not that hot, I have 5 points right now, 3-3-3 three, 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 guys, 3 kills, 3 deaths. And three assists. And uh, this isn't like an official MMOHUD uh, server over here. Oh, I want to use this. Yo, Kenny, move over, brah. Move over, brah. It's my teleporter. I have to wait for him. But yeah, this isn't an uh, official MMOHUD uh, Team Fortress 2 server. Instead, we did the pro way. Oh, there's a spy right there. I should probably kill him because he's not on my team. But yeah, we did the official, uh, we did a pro way to just to organize this event. Basically, we found a random empty server and we commandeered it. The most pro way ever. We don't have to get our own server and we just steal somebody else's. Let's go kill this heavy over here. It's a random guy and you are randomly dead, bruh. Randomly rocketed in the face. So I'm waiting for my heels to stack up over here. I'm going to go back out there. So we already captured one area. We got to capture the next area to win over here. Nope, got to kill this guy. And nope, he's nope, over there too. Let me rocket over there. I overcharged over here. Come on. Oh my god, no kills yet. Come on. Kill this guy at least. Yes, finally got one kill over there my overcharge. That's I mean, so many heavies. They have so much HP. So much HP, but with Uber Charge, you should be able to kill them fairly quickly. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm loving these uh, Super Rockets over here. Another, come on, one more kill. Yes, look at the top right over there. Me and V getting all these kills, man. V is a cool cat, keeping me alive all this time. Got to stand on that circle to heal up. Got to kill their medics, otherwise you can't kill their heavies. Oh, got to keep running over here. And yes, stand on the spot to capture it. Go me. We're going to capture it real soon, and we're going to win. Yes, Team Elite just got the win over there. Look at that. Now we can go run around here. Yes, go in their base and kill them while they respawn. And when the game wins, basically, uh, we're invulnerable. We can go kill all of them if we want to. And blue team wins. I came in second place this round. Uh, 13 points. Dr. Steel carrying the team with 22 points. And he was a spy. Spies are really important. Uh, rank panel, the Remo, 18 out of 57. 0.78. And that's put one to close that for now. So I got my awesome shuffle right now. And oh, we're waiting 50 seconds for the next setup over here. And uh, Smug fights in this game as well. Uh, he's uh, he's only got 6 points. I got 14. What a, what a scrub. What a scrub a dub dub. <laughs> but he'll, he'll be recording as well. And you'll see his point of view later. This healer guy over here, Healer V, man, he is a cool cat, man. Look at this cool guy. He's been healing me this whole time and the last server, too. He, he's, my, he's my dedicated personal medic. So we're going to go wait over here. And people are talking over there, too, not paying too much attention over there. My score right now is 8-3. and three. Now, I did to throw this out there. I, I don't consider myself a good Team Fortress 2 player, only because I started playing Team Fortress 2 since it went free to play and not really much before then. I just played the occasional free weekend when Valve had those free Team Fortress 2 weekends, but uh, they really didn't give enough time to really learn the game anyway. So, again, I'm fairly new to the game compared to a lot of other people who are probably in this game right now, too. But actually, a lot of you guys over here are probably also playing the game since it went free to play because, you know, MMO is all about free to play anyway. So, we're going to go. I am uber charged over here. Got to get that. Oh, missed over there. There we go. Look at that. Two kills right there. Was that three? Look, look at those guys. Can't kill them. Got to shoot over here. I should blow up those rockets because it's uber important to bring down those, those perks. And as a, as a soldier, you can bring down turrets very... Oh my god, I'm way up there. As a soldier, you can bring down those turrets really easily. Because you can just pop the corner, shoot your missiles. Oh, there's, there's another soldier over there. Gotta kill you. And didn't quite kill you yet. I'm not a fan of how long it takes to reload your rockets. I gotta get... I gotta, it takes a long time to reload. So kill that guy. And come on, get a kill over there. Go in the, oh, there's another, guy, another uh, heavy over there too. I hate killing heavies because they take so much bullets to kill over here. Even one perfectly timed rocket doesn't kill a heavy. You gotta get like two in the face to get them. 
So we're gonna, although if you're a sniper, you could one-shot them. I think snipers are the only ones that can really one-shot heavies. And I'm getting a bit ballsy running into the fray over there. I'm gonna go chillax over here. So my buddy Landshark over here heals me up. V's over there too. He's trying to find me to heal me. And keep shooting my rockets over there. And as a, as a soldier, it's very easy to get assists because you just shoot and you do massive AOE with your rockets anyway. So keep shooting my missiles over there. And Zod is not on my team. Gotta keep shooting until you die. And we gotta keep shooting at that corner over there because that's where all of them are. And there you go. Go down, man. Spamming my rockets, doing massive AOE. I feel like if I was a demo man right here, I could do so much more damage because demo man, they're all stacked up together, like right in that corner, this right side over there. Finally, that he the heavy goes down. Who was he anyway? Whoever he is, he probably got a lot of kills because he was being healed. And he's able to hold that position quite easily. Shoot a rocket in there. If I was also a demo man, I could use some rockets in there. But my favorite class is probably Scout or Soldier. Lately, I've been playing Soldier more, but I also like Scout. I feel like Scout is way more useful in a, in a Captain the Flag style map than a game like this. I, my favorite map modes are definitely probably Captain the Flag. I also like Payload. I'm going to go in here. And more people all clumped up together. Shoot some rockets. Get some assist, guys. Shoot rockets. Get assist. Pro tip for everyone. So we're going to go... And Danny is over there. We're going to go pop up over here. And keep on pushing over here. They, don't, they keep clumping up together. I keep getting a lot of... Oh, right here. Look at that. Boom. Boom. I'm loving the uber charge. Loving that uber charge. Look at the top right, guys. Look at the top right. I'm going to shoot that, that turret over there before it kills my own teammates. Because, you know what? I am a team player sometimes. Uber charge again. Keep shooting. Yes, get more kills. Dude, I wish I hadn't have to reload. Yo, know, if I had infinite rockets, this game would be epic. But unfortunately, I do not have infinite rockets, though. I wish I did. And I'm going to go kill that guy who's running up towards us, a pyro. You got to shoot those pyros ASAP because if they get in front of you next to your team, they're just a massive AoE. So we're getting massively shot over there, too. I'm going to spam E for medic. But yeah, I, I did get a lot of kills over there. I'm a fan of that. I'm 14 and 3 right now. Not a lot of deaths because, again, I'm getting a lot of love from the, from the medics. Oh, I just killed their spy over there. That was almost guaranteed a spot. He was running towards us from the enemy side. Obviously, it could have been some guy looking for help. Uh, but I, yes, yes, I love you, V. Keep me alive. So we're going to go over here and keep shooting some rockets over here. And, uh, yep, keep shooting my awesome rockets, get a lot more kills. And I'm all out of ammo. What is up with this? So I'm going to go, I'm going to go man up and just charge them with my, oh, there's ammo over here, never mind. I was going to go run at them with my shotgun, but as a, as a soldier, I prefer to use my rockets. And we got to take that capture point over there. We got to run up to it and just take it. I mean, that's really the only way to get it. And yeah, I just died over there. But I thought I did some damage to that, that, the engineer turret over there. So you had more kills and assists, blah, 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 something, something. I have 23, oh, why did I just shoot myself in the face over there? I'm going to go back and heal up. Should not have shot myself over there for no reason, but you can always heal back in your base and let's go towards that. We have 15 minutes to capture that last spot, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And whoever made these, uh, what's the name over here? Oh, I can't see. Nuclear Blast. What a cool cap. Being a team player, laying down these turrets. I mean, Team Fortress 2 is a very hectic game, but it's also a very uh, tactical game. I would say, it, I mean, competitive Team Fortress 2, I would imagine, would be a lot of fun because you do need engineers, you need a little bit of every class, and there's a lot of teamwork involved too. It's a lot more than just a mindless, like, crazy action. Which, mostly, when you're playing pub games and you're playing on random servers, it usually just comes down to mindless, like, crazy action. But there's a lot of strategy involved, too. And, um, it's gonna be so hard to actually capture that. I mean, this is such a hard spot to capture. And, let me get a... Yes, I got a kill over there. Well, an assist, not really a kill. But it's such a hard spot to capture because, I mean, we need some heavies over here ASAP. Because, in fact... Oh, I just got call out. But I'm gonna go bring my heavy over here. Nope, wrong button over there. Ah, uh, my combo key to switch my classes. And there's a whole bunch of playable classes over here. Nine playable classes. If you've never played Team Fortress 2 before... But I can't imagine you guys haven't heard of Team Fortress 2 because if you've played like video games, online PC games, there's no reason you, you haven't heard of Team Fortress 2. Or at least Valve, the company behind Team Fortress 2. I mean, since making Team Fortress 2, the game has gotten really popular. I mean, Valve did wait a long time before making it a free-to-play because again, it's that, I mean, it, it became an older game before they made it free-to-play. But hopefully uh, Valve sees that free-to-play is out uh, of the future and I'd like to see Valve make their newer game free-to-play as well. How cool would it be for Dota 2 to be free-to-play? Yes, Uber Charge! I mean, I can imagine Dota 2 being free-to-play and that would be awesome. Yes, you're gonna die, bro. You're gonna die, soldier. I'm gonna kill you, Spy. I'm gonna kill you. I'm loving the Uber Charge, and I am gonna go down right now. But you know what? Me and Landshark, man, we got a lot of kills over there. Medics are awesome. So my score is 26. Uh, my ping is 85. Not doing the best on the team. Dr. Steel and Bob Lankin doing a good job uh, helping out the team over here. Their team, Greg Pocalypse. Wow, he's doing really well. Spunkify is up to 14 points, but let me go on this teleporter again. But wow, their Greg, Greg Pocalypse is clearly a, a, a good uh, Team Fortress 2 player over here. I'm gonna get ballsy over here and just run up here and start shooting again. Probably not the best way to play, especially. Yeah, I can't run out there and start shooting randomly. I gotta. Oh, Kala. I killed Kala, but then Kala killed me. I'm not sure how that worked over there. You can see on the top right. But yeah, there's a lot of teamwork involved. In order to take a strategic point like that, I need to get. Somebody needs to get uber charged. And I think we need a lot more heavies over there because everybody else is really squishy. Soldiers, not so much, but there's so many squishy uh, characters over here. Yes, got a kill over there. I did get a uh, uber charge over here again, but I need to. I gotta take that turret down, otherwise it'll be even more impossible. Kill that guy, and keep aiming at that turret, and no. 
it's so hard to actually break through this area. We're at a choke point right now, so it's gonna be really difficult. I did get an achievement, so go me. And if you see my uh, my avatar over there on the top left ish over there, pro bonus points if you can guess where it's from. Though come on, it should be so easy. I mean, I, I imagine most people will be able to get it. It's a it's the cute point from my uh, Ragnarok online. So gonna keep shooting these guys over here and gotta I'm getting healed, which is good. That guy over there is not getting healed, which is why I killed him. I'm just gonna chill out to get some free points over here, though I'm very vulnerable to uh, a spy right now. But this medic can heal me from a really safe spot, which is always awesome. But I'm gonna keep shooting over here and gonna get some assistant points over there. Gotta kill that guy. Nope, didn't get him, but I did do a lot of damage to him. I am almost down to uh, no ammo, so you know what? I need to back off real soon. Yeah, I, I gotta back off over here, get some more ammo. You know what? I'm back, I'm good to go. There's an ammo depot over there. And let's keep shooting over here, guys. Keep getting these critical hits, get some assists. Get some points, guys. So I can die very easily. Yes, I'm down to 50 HP, but I didn't die. I can die very easily if a spy just runs up behind me and one shot me from back. I'm gonna kill that dude over there. Yes, I uber charge. I'm gonna keep going over here and get a lot of points, guys. Look at all these kills. I'm loving all the docs that are giving me all this love. I'm getting an unusual amount of love over here because uh, it is the MMO community event, and a lot of people on here are from MMO Hut, so they, they know who I am, so they give me a lot of love. A lot more love than I actually deserve because, again, I, I don't consider myself a great Team Forges 2 player. But you know what? The medic's healing me. You guys are awesome. I did 2300 damage this round. Yes, Land Shark heals me. V heals me. I love these guys. My personal medics over here. Let's go wait for this teleporter. Wait in line for this guy to move over. And I'm up to 33 points, 21 and 9. But then again, it's kind of hard to die when you have so many medics just helping you out. Land Shark and V have been, been. Yes, V's over there. My personal medic over there. Cool cat. So we're going to pop over here again and get some more kills. So again, we should be pushing towards, uh, cause we, we do have to actually win this game. Getting kills isn't that important as much as winning. Oh, I'm, oh, oh I should have pulled back. What was I thinking? But you know what? I am dead over here. The guy's got a little champion thing over his head. And I gotta wait to respawn over here. But we, we gotta really work towards actually capturing that last spot over there to actually win the game. We have 11 minutes to do it, but we haven't made any progress whatsoever. So that, that's, that's kind of disappointing. But wow, their team is doing quite well. They have a 64-pointer, they have a 47-pointer, a 29-pointer. The most of the, our top players over here are doing quite well as well. And there we go, teleporter level 3. Much love to whoever plays that teleporter again. I mean, without that teleporter, we'd be so screwed because that is an awesome spot. Bringing our whole team right to the front line, it's so important. Yes, gonna kill all of you squishies over here. Oh, I love killing these squishies. Gotta kill that, gotta kill you. Nope, he's too far away. And I'm about to die. Yes, as soon as my uber charge ran out, I just got ripped. But you know what? I got five kills that round, and my best was six with a heavy. My best with a soldier was a bit more. I think my best uh, killing spree of the soldier was ten in a single round. And uh, I prefer soldier and heavy the most. I like playing scout when it's a, when it's a capture the flag style map. And we are getting oh man, I want to kill these guys so bad, but I can't because they are on their uber charge. But I can kill well, as soon as he goes away. I'm gonna kill them. It's gonna go away real soon, and it's gonna be gone. I'm gonna kill your medic first. And these guys all clumped up together. They don't kind of yes. I just got my own uber charge. So yes, do uber damage. Oop. Look at all these kills, guys. Look at all those wonderful kills. I love you, Land Shark, man. Love you a long time. So yeah, my Uber Shark just went away, but I keep spamming my attacks, and I'm gonna go towards I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go over here to get full heal over here real quick. And you know what? I am liking that guys. Back to almost full HP. Pop over here again and get a lot of kills. But again, the whole point of the game is not to just get kills. The point of the game is to actually capture that base, because and the rate we're going right now, we're never gonna capture that base because we all have to really push out at once, and I think we're gonna need more heavies to do that. But you know what? I'm getting a lot of kills, having a lot of fun over here anyway, so you know what? I, I'm not gonna complain, because I'm loving these medics on me, and yes, now the full, still have full HP over here. Gotta keep shooting them. The thing is, they have a lot of med- Oh, I'm gonna die! Keep running the corner, and yes, I'm actually almost out of bullets with my uh, chain gun. Nope, back to full. No, run away! I'm about to die! I'm on fire or something, but yes, 45 HP, I'm getting back killed again. I think they pulled up a uh, Pyro in US or something. I gotta kill that Pyro, and he's gone over there too. This guy's over there. Yes, gotta shoot you. I'm about to die. No! Oh, I'm good to go because I'm up. Oh, kill that guy over there too. They have so many, uh, so many heavies too. Heavies are so hard to kill. There's a guy over there. I'm gonna keep shooting until he pops over there. Nope. Another heavy in there. I'm gonna run over here and kill him. Oh, this guy's probably a spy running towards us. Uh, pro tip, guys. If, if, if an enemy, if your own teammate is running at you from the front lines, odds are he is a spy and you want to shoot him anyway. And the thing is, it doesn't really hurt to really do a spy check. And a spy check being you just shoot your own teammate to make sure he's on your, he's actually on your team. And there's no, there's no friendly fire anyway. It's always good to shoot your own teammates every now and then. So always got. It's worth checking out because if a spy runs up to your team. He can do a lot of damage. Because if he goes behind your whole team, he just keeps shooting you guys, and you'll get screwed over there. But you know what? We really got to make our way towards that area over there. I'm gonna try playing a scout next round and get a bit ballsy. See, like, you know what? I'm gonna try something a bit different. I'm gonna go over here and let's try offense as a scout. Though this is gonna be really hard to do as a scout because this one particular area, it's really bottlenecked. It's gonna be so hard to actually, you know, make any progress over there. We need, we need some people to actually tank over there too. I'm gonna go. Over, oh, I just got took a lot of damage already, which is not good because as a as a scout over here, I have, I have a lot less HP. I'm gonna wait over here to heal up. And let's go this way, and you know what, I'm just gonna run forward over here, let's see what we got, we got over here. 
We're gonna go this way, and oh, this guy's not on my team. That soldier, and he just killed me with two hits over there. This is almost, this is gonna be almost impossible as a as a scout, as I said. I'm gonna try a few more times. Kala has not played Team Fortress 2 in ages, apparently, but he's playing right now, which is good. And the thing is, this server run right now is completely empty until uh, we joined it randomly. I'm curious if the admin joined. What would they think? Like, well, who are all these people on my server? What are they doing here? I just killed Kala over there with my epic baseball bat. And we need to go take this base, and I couldn't even get near it because the the turret over there is in a really nice spot. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to uh, soldiers try killing that turret because you really can't take these bases if you don't kill the turrets first because the turrets do an obscene amount of damage. And I like how this is a line to use this uh, teleporter. Again, whoever put this teleporter here is a good team player. Awesome spot over there. Nuclear blast is an awesome dude. He's got 71 points on the team. He's doing the best as well. So go him. He's a cool cat over there. I'm gonna. There we go. And what bam back on the front lines over here. We do need to take that turret down. I'm not sure if we're going to be actually be able to. I got an uber charge, but I'm not sure how much damage I can do with it. I feel like I can do a lot more damage with uber charge as a, as a heavy, because it's so much easier to do uber damage with a heavy, because you can just keep spraying. Whereas uh, in between shots, it's a pretty long delay as a, as a soldier. So I just got double kill over there. It's actually very easy to get double kills uh, with uber charge as a soldier too. And so I'm loving the splash on the soldier as well. I got to kind of pop this corner and just take that turret down. Which I'm going to try doing right now. Yes, it's a weak turret. We got it right now. So yes, go me. Being a team player, killing that turret. So if you, oh, I just got my uber charge over here. Nope, my next shot's gonna be epic. And shoot, yes, more kills. More kills over there. Me and V, man. Me, V, and Landshark are both healing me. How cool are those guys? I'm loving that. But they should be, they should be healing other people as well because uh, I'm not completely worthy of all their heals as well. They should be healing nuclear blast, so I'm not sure. What is he playing? Is he playing as a, yeah, he's playing as a engineer over there. But yeah, it's so hard to actually break through this. It's so, I mean, I'm not sure if we're ever gonna be able to do this. We still have six minutes left. But earlier we had like 15 minutes to do this and we weren't able to in like the first like 10 minutes which makes me think we're not going to be able to do it this time. But, I mean this is almost impossible to do right now but uh, their guy has 46 points on their team. Spunk fires up to 24 over there and we got to take this base but we're not going to be able to it seems. I, I can just keep shooting rockets all day, keep getting points but it's not going to help us. We got to actually take the base to actually win. So uh, the 10th class is Remo. <laughs> Other people talking over here. Ah, oh, I got my Uber charge over here. And no, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna bring my rocket over here, my, my shotgun. I'm gonna shotgun all of you to death and running towards the that red base was not worth it. I mean, I didn't get any kills over there. I'm gonna go back to Demo Man because Demo Man with uh with the Uber charge is way more deadly. 53 points over there, same as Dr. Steel. Nuclear Blast is being an awesome team player, as I said earlier. And honestly, the kills don't mean anything in a game like this. You have to actually take the bases. If you're playing as a scout, you're not gonna get as many kills either. I feel like a demo man probably gets the most kills a good ball. At least in a, in a scrub game, a demo man will get a lot of kills. I'm gonna kill, oh, the guy's already dead. Why am I shooting his dead body? Besides the fact that I enjoy it. And I'm going to keep running over here towards these guys. And this guy's going to go down. These are both going to go down over there. I should be aiming right over there. And I'm loving the uber charge, but I got to get some more kills. And we got a spy over there, too. Going to kill their engineer. Going to kill their pyro over there. And the trick is to always focus on one guy. Switching targets is, a, is an easy way to not get a lot of kills. And I, apparently I lost two points for dying. Go me. I'm loving the love I'm getting for the medics, as I said earlier. An unusual amount of love. I'm curious how Spunkify is doing. I know he's gonna, he's recording as well, so you're going to see a lot of uh, gameplay from his footage as well from the, the, the side of the red players. And the score right now is 5-6. to six. Uh, I'm not sure why it's 5-6. This is the first game we're playing on this new server we just switched on to. Probably because the boss... Were, oh, there's a dude right there. We got to kill this guy ASAP because if we lose that teleporter, we are so screwed. So we got to defend this spot and attack them at the same time. We can't afford losing this teleporter. It's going to suck for us. Delay us quite a bit. But I'm going to try going the new way. I got to kill that. Oh, I'm in an awful spot. Why did I jump down there to get myself killed? That was an awful idea. But uh, I'm dead again, so you can see my random my stats over there. One capture, five dominations go me. We're all waiting in line to use a teleporter over here again. Good thing we got another demo man over here. I thought it was the only demo man for a while. We have a lot of medics as well. Uh, props to whoever plays medic in uh, Team Fortress 2. Medics are enormously important as well. This isn't a game all... Of, oh, it's not going to work over there. We are kind of screwed over here. We got to manually go over there right now. So you know what? We're going to walk over there manually the slow way. But yeah, this game is all about teamwork, not just about mindless uh, action, as I said earlier. Teamwork, strategy, and a lot of coordination. But when, you, when you're playing with 32 people and you're not coordinating, it's going to be difficult to win. But most uh, most pub games like that anyway, and pub games being public games. Remo got a kill over there. Go me, going to kill you over there. Probably shouldn't be aiming at you mindlessly while I'm being shot from elsewhere. I'm going to try being a, you know what, I'm going to try being a, a scout again. Uh, that offense over there. And the thing is, we lost that teleporter. But that's not entirely a bad thing either because now that, you know, we're not all clumped up in that one spot. So the enemy might be pushing towards our base over here. So it's a bit harder for us to get to their control point. But as an as a, as a offense over here, I might be able to get there a little bit easier. I'm not going to be able to go there that way. But if I get there now, it's going to be a lot easier to take though. That, that's the thing about it because it's... And I say it's easier to take because there'll be less people spawn right there. 
the, the team is more diversified throughout the rest of the map over here. So if I somehow get behind the enemy lines, I, should, I might be able to take that last base a bit easier. But again, taking the base does take a long time, so I'm, I'm odds are I'm not gonna be able to do it. So we're gonna go with my baseball bat. We're gonna go this way over here and can't do anything in here. No, no point of going over there. I gotta somehow get balls in and just run past everybody. Keep running, bro. Keep running. I got this. Gotta go in here. No, what am I doing? What am I? That medic can't kill me. Lucky for me. And oh, yes, double jump for the win. Yes, keep going, keep going. Hopefully they don't see me. Oh man, don't see me, guys. Don't see me. I'm gonna take your base while you're not looking, and it's not gonna work. But I stood there for a second, I think. I. This is a, they're building a turret there too, so it's gonna be so hard to actually take. Man, this is a tough. It's so hard to actually win these games without 32 players in here because it, it, it feels crazy because we really gotta push through them, and while they're waiting to respawn, we gotta actually take their base. And it's really hard to do. I'm gonna try sneaking in there again. But sneaking in there is it's it's not gonna work too well, it seems, because uh there's still a lot of people over there. And as a scout, you can double jump. It's the only class that can double jump, which is awesome. Whoever meant to double jumping is all oh, up this guy right there. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna bat this guy. He does not see me, and yeah boy, just got my kill with my bat over there. And can nope, I couldn't even stand on the control point for a second. Man, it's so hard to capture. They have a they have a turret over there as well. I'm gonna love I'm gonna type love blah Bob Lankin over there. But uh, I'm gonna switch again to uh, heavier. No, you know I'm gonna try something a bit different this time. I'm gonna play a little bit of Demo Man. Demo Man can get a lot of kills. The enemy clumps up together, which is uh, which is pretty often in, in especially in a map like this. I'm gonna keep making these Asian happy faces over here, and I'm gonna stop recording in a bit because uh, I know Spunkfy is recording as well. In between both of our videos, I don't. Oh, that was not a good place to teleport. This a hole over here just waiting to camp us over here. <laughs> JPP dangles just got us over there. But I, I do want to get at least one kill as Demo Man, guys. One kill at least. But this round, uh. I started dropping the ball right now because I, I was doing second place, now I'm uh, fourth place over here. I just start dropping the ball when I start. Oh, there's another dude over there, and nope, can't use that. Oh, there's enemy spy over there. Oh yeah, one shot in with the demo man. Landing a grenade in his face, I'm liking it. Keep running this way, and oh, there's a lot of dudes over there. I keep shooting my grenades, and grenades are uber helpful. Though I'm not sure why, demo man with uh, uber charge can be uber deadly, but the thing is, uh, I'm not doing so hot as demo man over there. But guys, I'm going to call for now. Uh, it was a community event, meaning... Uh, Anybody that wanted to play over here from MWAT on the YouTube channel or the forums could have played. If you missed it, just keep an eye on the MWAT forums. We do announce these every now and then. I know Spunkfire will be coordinating more of these, and I will definitely be here in future uh, community events. I'm not sure what our next game will be, but uh, Team Fortress 2 is a fun game, and I plan to play it a bit more in my own time as well. Anyway, guys, later.